can you give us an update on what what happened with Houses? Uh, yeah, finished filming that, playing the bikey. That was fun. Just one of the bikies. I was like, um, bikey number. Well, one of the things number two. I forgot what the bikey's names were called, but I, my name was Muffin. Muffin on my Muffin. No, Blueberry. Oh, okay. Was Blueberry. The other guy. Rick, who's in it, his heels muffin, so when I stand near him, it's like blueberry muffin. <laughs> Had blueberry sets instructor. Yeah, it was good. Got to meet Angry Anderson, and that, he's a nice guy. And that's, I uh, had a good chat to him, because he knew me through another guy, so that was good. Had a good time, had a few little funny fight scenes in it, and stuff like that, so. I think, you know, I think it's been edited now, because I saw um, Paul Fennick, the main guy in it, He's um, on Facebook, I saw him put up a few posts saying Edling, Edling, Dumb Criminals, I think that's what it's called, Dumb Criminals, so it's been, yeah, it was fun. And um, any more? Um, uh, not at the moment, no, so, not at the moment, so it actually worked out well with the neurosurgeon being away, I got to do the filming of that before I had to go for my surgery, so. And um, speaking of, of Angry Anderson, I guess the, 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 the most controversial thing about the first state of origin was um, the fact that he didn't get to sing uh, We Can't Be Beaten at the, the start. What were your, your thoughts on that? I didn't actually hear about it, but I think he posted something on Facebook, I heard, or I didn't actually read it, but I think there was people having a chat and complaining about it, saying it wasn't right or people weren't happy with it, so... I didn't read what he wrote about it, but I remember seeing he did post something about it, so yeah. I think there's quite a few posts about it, but I've got a few good photos of Anchor and I on my phone, and Kev, Kev on my phone and that, so Kev the Kiwi, Yeah. got some funny stuff there, so yeah, it should be funny when it comes out, like I said, it won't be in huge scenes, but the scenes I'm in, you should be able to see me pretty good with what I'm doing, and with Jimmy the Junkie and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> That's really good. So, the, will it be at Cannes Film Festival? Oh, this is a fucking Academy Award winner. <laughs> yeah, so, do you know the Comic Con's on this weekend in Sydney? No. It is, actually, yeah. Because um, one of the guys who used to compete in bodybuilding, he's actually going to be there, and he did all the stunts for Mad Max and that, and he was really good friends with my grandparents and those me and that, and I was going to try to get down on Saturday to see him, but it might be too much to drive back down on Saturday yeah. because on Sunday I'm taking Jade and my mum and the kids to see Disney on Ice. Dare to dream. Disney on Ice. Oh, what, is that what you're going to take? That's what we're taking them to see. It's just at the entertainment centre in Newcastle. Oh, so it's a, oh, I thought you, you were going to be on ice. Yeah. <laughs> <Everyone else> <laughs> I'll be watching it medicated. So yeah, yeah, really yeah. I could end up out there on the yeah. ice chasing Mickey Mouse around. Yeah. <laughs> Please excuse that guy out there. He's on a bit of medication right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. We're looking forward to it, aren't we, baby? We've got a big day next week because you know what happens next week? Monday, cars getting serviced. Tuesday is seeing the doctor again. Got to go see the surgeon again. Wednesday, getting married. Thursday, cars getting detailed, and then Friday, I don't know, I'll go see a movie. Yeah. I saw Jurassic World, it wasn't bad. Um, what about Mad Max? That was really good. Yeah? Yeah. Like I said, the guy I know did all the stunts and all the fight scenes for that. And that was good, did you see it? No, no, I, I have not seen it yet. Have you seen it? Yes. Oh, it was good, wasn't good, it? Yeah, yeah. Not much talking in it, which is pretty good, but the oh, I like whole, that. I actually like the premise of how they had to get away from the place, and then when they got halfway into the desert, they thought, oh, fuck, we need to go back. So they had to turn around and go back. <laughs> but the stunts in that were good, and I heard that he signed on to do another one or two of them, so I think Lee Priest should be in the second one, or the third one. Yeah, well, I heard he... He bring a lot of credibility to it, and... The amount of fans I have out there, I'd like people to start a petition right now on Facebook. Lee Priest needs to be in Mad Max, the next one. Yeah. Oh, look, yeah. He, he was keen to... Um, Remember he... that picture Carl Hensel did of me with the big fucking knife and the bullets and the gun and the axe and shit? I think I'd be good in that. And did, did they ever see that photo? I don't know, but someone could start a petition and let them see it. 
Yeah, it just show them that, um, yeah. yeah you're... I look at all the fans out there. Can you imagine if all my fans went and brought a ticket to see that? Oh, they'd be raking in millions. Well, they said it was a bit of a, um, bit of a flop. That's the thing it's made over 400 million or more. So it's still pretty good worldwide, actually. And here you go. Here's some little fans. Oh, yeah. Part of my entourage. They're the ones that I get to go out there and sell to endones for me on the street. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if they get caught, they, um... I just, they'll just they get it yeah. from the medicine cabinet. They're too young to lock up. 